So the next big topic now is the so-called Z-transform. So Z-transform is essentially just a sampled Laplace transform. So let's write down the Laplace transform. Last plus transform, but sampled. So let's write this first down just in its normal form, in its continuous time domain form, like this. So that's h of t multiplied by e minus st dt. So that's still continuous here. So the h of t is continuous. So the idea how to tackle this is by using delta functions. Use delta functions at the sampling interval interval t. So let's just do this. So we've got then h of s equals 0 to infinity and then we've got our continuous function again and now what we do is we're introducing delta t minus nt so this gives us here so that's our sampling interval t and that's the sampling number sample number And then we need to multiply this here with the e to s t dt. So essentially what we're doing is that we've got here, if this is our signal h of t, and this looks like this, then we just multiply this with our regular delta functions. So that's delta delta, delta, and so on. And so this multiplication, we are getting rid of the integral here. So let's write this here, our h of s, again, with the sum. Let's do this properly here. So h of n capital T, because we're looking at these moments in time, and then multiplied e to s n capital T. So, so now we can rewrite this, this term is here quite interesting, so we can rewrite this here. So we can write this in this form here, e to st, and then to the power of n. So something like that. So now if you look back at the properties of the Laplace transform, so see properties of the Laplace transform, then you will see that this is here a delay delay by t. Or we could say a shift by t, this operator here. And then obviously the whole thing here, just the whole term, this is a shift by n t, the whole term. So now the convention is, is the following that this one here, so this term e to s e to minus s t, so this is z to minus 1. So that's defined as this one here. So we change, we do a change in variable. Yeah, so we change this e to minus s t and call this here z to minus 1. 
change in variable. And then we call this here h of z. And then this runs here from n equals 0 to infinity here. And then h of n t z2 minus 1 to n. So now usually if we have a digital, this is an analog sequence here, in this case if we have a digital sequence we were just writing n equals 0 to infinity h of n and then z2 minus 1 to n. And this one is here called the so-called Z-transform. 